Gold mining has changed dramatically in the last 150 years. In the heady days of the gold rush, a person could pan or sluice in a stream for nuggets of gold. Today, mining is a large-scale activity that involves a lot of talented men and women, large earth-moving equipment, and sophisticated processes. But gold isn't as easy to get as it was in the gold rush days. Quite often, deposits mined today contain only microscopic bits of gold invisible to the naked eye. So many tons of rock have to be mined and processed to produce gold that you can see and use. That's why modern gold mines are typically large. It's also why so many people work at the mines. Today, we're going to show you an active modern gold mine. Before any actual mining can begin, a process known as exploration has to happen. Geoscientists study the Earth and its geological makeup to look for signs of gold deposits. Geologists are people who study rocks and the Earth. These people are the ones who help start the mining process. First, they study rocks and make maps of a region. As they progress, they use more complex methods of finding out what is below the surface of the Earth. Using geophysics and geochemistry, geologists start creating maps that show their estimate of a potential gold deposit. To test the estimate, holes are drilled to identify where gold is concentrated. After collecting enough samples and data, the geologists can generate a 3D model of the ore body. This model shows areas within the ground that contain various concentrations of gold. Using the geologic model, a blasting plan is developed. This plan is used by the drill and blast crews to lay out and drill a pattern that will safely and effectively fracture the rock for mining. Drill rigs drill hundreds of holes in a specific pattern for the blast. Then, the blast crew loads each hole with a blasting agent called ANFO or ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. The blast foreman clears the area, sets up roadblocks to ensure worker safety, starts the warning siren, and calls, fire in the hole. The blast fractures thousands of tons of material. Hydraulic shovels and front-end loaders load the rock in the haul trucks. These haul trucks hold about 240 tons of ore. That's 480,000 pounds. That's as heavy as 200 cars. Ore is rock that contains a concentration of a valuable mineral, in this case, gold, that can be mined at a profit. Because the geologists studied the rock before the blast, they know which areas of the blasted material contain high or low grade ore. While ore material may look similar, the concentrations or grade of ore within the material are different. High-grade ore has more gold particles than low-grade ore. Grade is used to determine how the ore will be mined and processed. So that's why each block of ore in a mine is referred to by its grade. 
Each block is mined out separately and delivered by haul trucks to a specific area of the mine site for processing or placement in a waste rock facility. Eventually, all processed ore ends up in a solution called a slurry, which moves through a series of tanks containing a mixture of weak cyanide solution and carbon. The gold bonds to the carbon, which is separated from the slurry. The carbon, now loaded with gold, is further processed to remove the gold and put it into solution. The gold solution is then sent through a circuit where the gold is recovered through an electrochemical process similar to the process used to make chrome-plated car parts. The recovered gold is then melted in a furnace at 2100 degrees Fahrenheit and poured into molds to form gold bars. However, these bars, called doré bars, are a mixture of about 85% gold and 15% silver. They are sent to a European refinery to be refined into pure gold bullion. Areas that are no longer needed for mining are reclaimed. When possible, this reclamation is done concurrently or while mining continues nearby. After mining ends, the entire mine site is reclaimed or returned to a natural looking appearance so that after a few years, it will be difficult to tell that any mining took place at all. As you have just seen, mining involves many steps Every part of the process is important in producing gold, and the final product is well worth the hard work. Mm -hmm.